Hi everybody, it's Gordo, and I'm going to make this video as short and sweet as possible to get to the point. Um, there was a shooting last night in Orlando at Pulse Nightclub. Early in the morning, a man walked in with an automatic rifle and a handgun and just opened fire. Seems like many of the people were able to get out, but after that he took hostages and it was later killed in a shootout with SWAT teams. Um, so far, it sounds like over 50 people have been confirmed dead, making it one of the worst shootings in U.S. history. Not something that anybody wanted to wake up to on a Sunday. Um, and I just, I'm a little devastated because I was thinking about it, and it, it sounds like he could have been involved with some kind of terrorist organization, though that's also not confirmed. But this could have happened to anyone you know, particularly in the gay community right now, because it is Pride season, Pride month, and there are Pride celebrations going on throughout the country. Um, Minneapolis is here in a couple of weeks, and it sounds like there was also another incident where they found guns in, I believe it was Sacramento or somewhere in California, a man that said he was going to be going to Pride. It's, it's all too terrifying to really think about, but I had to make a video today to get my thoughts out there you know, sort of straighten them out, you know, make myself sort of understand and maybe even connect to somebody who is involved more with this. I don't know anybody in Orlando. I, I just know that this is a terrible, terrible thing to have happened. And I want to make sure that they know I'm grieving for them. Uh, my condolences to everyone involved. Of course, I pray for those that are still at risk. You know, it's terrible. And no one is going to forget this for a very long time. Um, unfortunately, in Minneapolis, I don't have a lot of things that I can do to help. But if you are in the area, please connect yourself to an organization that can offer help, uh, either donating blood or just helping console the victims and their families. Anything you can do to get through this time is really going to be helpful. Um, I have a lot of other things I want to talk about. I know I haven't made a video in over a year. Um, this video is not a quality video, obviously, um, but I will be coming back soon, I promise, and I will hopefully make another video once more things have been confirmed. But again, stay strong. These people will try and hurt us. They will try and take what we have. They don't think that we deserve it. They don't think that we're equal to them, but we deserve everything that we have. We are strong and we will get through this. We have to hold each other's hands. We have to console those that have been injured and those that have lost people. But we will survive and we will triumph. And I love you all. Please, please be safe during Pride season because it sounds like this year is not going to be a good one. Um, but we will make it the best that we can and we will not fear. We, we should not stay home. We, I mean, this month is about us. This is our us holding each other's hands and being strong and showing who we are. You should not be scared to stay home. And I love you all and please be safe. Thank you. See you soon.